Hi everybody, welcome back to another encounter here on my channel. I'm so glad that you've joined. It's lovely to be able to sing with you and pray with you to end the weekend in praise. Look at this verse that I found in Isaiah chapter 33 the other day. It says, Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. Be our strength every morning, our salvation in times of distress. Now, that was a time of distress for Israel. They were about to go into exile. And, um, of course, it's a time of distress for Israel at the moment as they're fighting what they're fighting. But what about for the Christian reading that today? I think that's a prayer that we can all pray, starting with that first phrase where Isaiah said, Lord, be gracious to us. God's grace is everything. So let's begin today by singing a song about God's grace. Where would I be? You only know. I'm glad you see through eyes of love. If not for grace, amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I once was lost, but now I'm found. A hopeless case, an empty space, if not for grace. Precious Lord, please take my hand and lead me on, let me stand, a hopeless case, an empty place, if not for grace, where would I be? You only know I'm glad you see Through eyes of love A hopeless case An empty place If not for grace A hopeless case empty place if not for grace if not for grace where would I be where would I be if God's grace hadn't reached out for me I don't even want to think about it thankfully at least for me I'm saying thank you Lord I do know your grace thankfully I have been touched by his grace and that's why many people love singing Amazing Grace, How Sweet the Sound, that saved a wretch like me. You know, I didn't deserve it, but it was His grace. God's riches at Christ's expense. I'm sure you've heard that acronym for grace. God's riches given to us at Christ's expense. He was the one who paid the price that we may be rich spiritually. And so, yes, let's pray that prayer with Isaiah today. Lord, be gracious to us. Maybe you need to remember God's grace in your life today. Without His grace, none of, it, none of it makes sense. But when you're living in His grace, aware that He loves you, not because of what you've done, but because of His love and His graciousness, that's a good place to be. And so look again at that verse. Lord, be gracious to us. We long for you. We long for you. Is this true in your life that you long for God? I think at this point in Israelites' history, they were desperate for God, desperate for him to come back because of the difficulty that they were facing. And so they were saying, we long for you. And they drifted. They drifted from him. They'd gotten involved in all sorts of godless things. And so that's why they were sent off into exile. And Isaiah was calling them, I guess, to long for God again, to thirst for him. And perhaps for us this is true as well. Maybe your thirst for God is gone. Your longing for God is gone. 
God has become just a ritual, a you know habit, without that heart fullness anymore. And and maybe tonight, as you sing this, you can say, "I thirst for you." You know what I've found is that the other things in life don't satisfy. And here in this song, it talks about in a dry and barren land, we're longing for your hand. I have found that a world without God or a world that we try to push God out, that's a dry and barren land. Even though there are much, there is much material wealth in the world today for many of us, um, we still often find ourselves in a dry and barren land spiritually. Our hearts are dry and barren. And so God is the one who can cleanse us with his rain, make us thirst for him again. Let's sing this one together. We thirst for you We search for you In a dry and barren land We're longing for your hand To guide us to A place where you Can cleanse us with your rain Baptize us once again We thirst for you We search for you In a dry and barren land We're longing for your hand To guide us to The place where you Can cleanse us with your rain Baptize us once again We thirst for you We thirst for you, we search for you In a dry and barren land We're longing for your hand to guide us to The place where you Can cleanse us with your rain Baptize us once again, we thirst for you again, quench our thirsty souls. We thirst for you, we search for you, in a dry and barren land, we're longing for your hand to guide us to the place where you with your rain baptize us once again we thirst for you come let's pray yes Lord we thirst for you we long for you and this world is a dry and barren place but we know that you are the river of life the water of life you can bring us joy and fulfillment you can do what nobody else can do Lord and so come and Baptize us in your reign again. Fill us to the brim. Oh Lord, touch our hearts. We don't want to feel dry and barren. We want to feel overwhelmed with your joy. So with Isaiah we say today, we long for you and we thirst for you. And we trust in you to fill us now. In the name of Jesus, whom we love, we pray. Amen. Isaiah goes on and says this, Be our strength every morning. Be our strength every morning. Is every morning for you a time of calling on God for strength? Do you spend that time with Him? It's so vital for us to start our day with Him. And one of my favorite old hymns, which I've also done a Friday classic on, some of you may have seen it, is Great is Thy Faithfulness, 
because in it we sing, morning by morning, new mercies I see. And whenever I sing that, I think, yes, I need to jump out of bed every morning and marvel at God's new mercies for the day. Isn't that a beautiful thought to, to live the day just amazed at God's new mercies? Because they are, they come every morning. Every morning is a new opportunity to be amazed at God's mercies. And Isaiah said, be our strength. And I love the line in this song as well that says, strength for the day, strength for today, and bright hope for tomorrow. God always provides us strength for today and hope for a bright tomorrow with him alongside us. Great is his faithfulness indeed. And so come, let's think about this verse and sing this hymn together. Great is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been, thou forever wilt be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness. Morning by morning, new mercies I see. All I have needed, thy hand hath provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Summer and winter and springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Join with all nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness, mercy, and love. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, morning by morning, new mercies I see. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide strength for today and bright hope for tomorrow blessings all mine with ten thousand beside oh great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness morning by morning new mercies i see all i have needed thy hand hath provided great is thy faithfulness great is thy faithfulness great is The last thing that Isaiah says in this one little verse is this, be our salvation in time of distress. Be our salvation. This was the Jews' great hope was that they would be saved from exile, which of course they were. And we, we believe that this was a picture of a greater spiritual reality, that we are all in exile to our sin. 
we're all enslaved by our sin, and that God will save us from this if we call out to him. Through the blood of Jesus, which was shed for us, the chains are broken, and we can leave our exile and be saved. And so this song was based on Isaiah as well. I think it was based in a later part of Isaiah, where he speaks about how God will come and save the people out of exile. And this was their hope, and he did it. Is your hope to be saved from the exile of sin? Is your hope to be delivered from the enemy so that you can live closer to God instead of being enslaved by sin? Maybe you need to hear these words today about God's salvation in that light. Say to those who are fearful hearted, do not be afraid. The Lord your God is strong with his mighty arms when you call on his name. He will come and save. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Lift up your eyes to him. You will arise again. He will come and save you. Say to those who are broken hearted. Do not lose your faith. Lord, your God is strong with his loving arms when you call on his name. He will come and save. He will come and save you. He will come and save. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Lift up your eyes to him. You will arise again. He will come and save you. He is our refuge in the day of trouble. He is our shelter in the time of storm. He is our tower in the day of sorrow, our fortress in the time of war. Time of war, He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Say to the weary one, your God will surely come. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. He will come and save you. Lift up your eyes to him. You will arise again. He will come and save let us pray. Thank you, Lord, that you have come and offered us salvation, and that though we are weary, you will save us. Thank you that you saved your people out of their time of distress. And Father, we pray again today that you will save your people out of their current time of distress. We pray, Lord, that the evil that is coming against them will be washed away, wiped out, and that your people will be able to reside in peace. But Lord, we pray that they will find you, 
that your precious people, the Israelites, the Jews, will find Jesus. We know all the prophecies that point towards that happening, but we pray that it will happen soon so that their salvation will come. But we pray today, Lord, thank you that you have come and saved us and that through Jesus' death on the cross we are saved from sin, set free forever. And we thank you for these words of Isaiah today. We thank you for your grace, without which we could do very little. We thank you, Lord, and we long for you. We thirst for you in a dry and barren land where you come and baptize us with your rain once more. Father, we trust in you to be our strength every morning. Thank you that morning by morning new mercies we see. And Lord, bring salvation. Bring salvation to those people in our lives who need it the most. Thank you for saving us, for the knowledge of your saving grace. Thank you, Lord, that all this that we see in the world today, all this darkness will one day be, be done because you will come back and conquer the enemy so that we may all live together in peace on the new earth alongside you. We look forward to this. We praise you today, O oh God, in the precious name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you for joining me, friends, and I pray that you have a wonderful week. Thank you all for your support of my ministry, by the way. If you'd like to know how you can do that, head over to my website. And I just hope that you enjoy the content that I put out there. God bless you. See you next time.